Hello everybody, today I'm going to explain what is a sine wave. Alright, let's dive in. A sine wave or a sinusoid is a mathematical curve that describes a smooth periodic oscillation. A sine wave is a continuous wave. It is named after the function of sine, of which it is a graph. Alright, so this is a typical sine wave. So the y-axis represents the displacement, the x-axis is the time, and the maximum displacement is the amplitude. The regions above the x-axis are called the crests, and the ones below are called troughs. And the distance between two crests or troughs is a wavelength. Alright, so this is a sine wave equation. y equals a sine of omega t plus v. y is the displacement, a is the amplitude, that is the maximum displacement, and f is the frequency, that is the number of oscillations per second expressed in hertz. Omega is the angular frequency, so 2 pi times f expressed in radian per second. And phi is the phase, which specifies where in its cycle the oscillation is at. If phi is zero, you know, there's no phase difference. But if phi is positive or negative, you know, there's going to be a positive or a negative phase difference. All right, the sine wave is important in physics because it retains its wave shape when added to another sine wave of the same frequency or arbitrary phase and magnitude. So what does that mean? It means that if I take this sine wave and I add another sine wave of same frequency, you know what's going to happen is the amplitude is going to increase or decrease depending on the phase, but the shape remains the same. You know, the shape's not going to change. And in fact, it is the only periodic waveform to exhibit that property. Application, it occurs widely in mathematics, physics, signal processing. It also occurs naturally in, you know, like ocean waves, wind waves, sound waves, and light waves. All right, now let's listen to sine waves of different frequencies like 500 hertz, 1000 hertz, and 2000 hertz. And also, let's look at their frequency spectrum. All right, so this is a 500 hertz sine wave. You can notice the long wavelengths that's consistent with the lower frequency wave, and this is how it sounds like. This is a spectrograph. The y-axis is a decibel and the x-axis is a frequency, and the graph is a single line which represents a pure tone, which is in fact a sine wave. This is a 1 kilohertz or a 1000 hertz sine wave. Notice a decrease in wavelength as the frequency is increasing and this is how it sounds like. This is a spectrograph of a 1000 hertz sine wave. You can see a single line here at the 1000 hertz mark. This is a 2 kHz or a 2000 Hz sine wave. The wavelength decreases further as the frequency is increasing and this is how it sounds like. This is a spectrograph of a 2000 Hz sine wave and you can see a straight line here at the 2000 Hz mark. Now what is a cosine wave? A cosine wave is in fact also a sinusoidal wave. Only difference is the cosine wave is a sine wave with a phase shift of pi by 2 radians or 90 degrees. Or in other words, a cosine wave is nothing but a phase shifted sine wave. Let's look at the graph for more details. Alright, so in this graph I have pictureized sine wave and cosine wave. The blue wave is a sine wave and the red wave is a cosine wave. And the axis represents the angle. So when the sine wave starts, it starts from zero and it approaches, you know, pi by two radians and then goes back to pi and then follows the cycle. Whereas the cosine wave starts from 90, you know, when the sine wave is at zero, it starts at 90. And when the sine wave does reach 90, the cosine has already reached 180, which is pi radians. So from this graph, it's clearly evident that the cosine wave is leading the sine wave. And hence, it is often said like the cosine wave always leads the sine wave by pi by 2 radians. Or, in other words, sine wave lags the cosine wave by pi by 2 radians. But in general, they're both the same, no matter how you look at it. Alright, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, hit the comments and I'll be sure to respond. Alright, thanks a lot. Have a great day.